lists are variables that you can conveniently use to store similar items within your flow. In this tutorial, I'll show you how you can create a list and also how you can manipulate all of your lists with the actions that are already built in to Power Automate Desktop. Let's learn. So before we get started with working with lists, we first have to create the list. So all of the functions related to lists are under the variables folder in the actions column. And to create a new list, create new list, we click and drag that onto our canvas. And this, in this example, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a list of models of cars. So by default, when you create a new list, it's gonna say list, but I'm gonna overwrite that with say list models. Hit save. Okay, so now we can create our list. Now I wanna add a single model to my list. To do that, add item to list is the action. Click and drag that underneath it. The item that I wanna specify is, let's say a Toyota Tacoma. And then into list is the one that I just created. Hit save. Now when I run, what should happen is it should create a new list for me called list models and it should add Tacoma as an element. I go over to the flow variables, open it up, and there's my item that's part of the list uh, for Tacoma. Now, one thing to note is that it's numbered and it has an index number, and index numbers for all lists begin at zero. Just keep that. So now I want this list to contain five models. So to do that, I can continue to add items to list. I can make duplicates of it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do that, but I'm gonna fast forward this so that you don't have to watch me type it. Okay, so now what I've done is I've added some more actions to add additional models to the list models. I have a Explorer, a Rogue, a Malibu, and an Accord. Now when I run the flow, it's gonna add those five items to my list models list. And I'm gonna open it up over here. Again, you can see they're all there. Now what I'm gonna to demonstrate to you is that is one way of adding items to a list. There's another way you can add items to the list in a single action. Now let me demonstrate how to do that. Okay, so here's how we can replace these five actions with a single action by using the set variable action. I open up this set variable. What I'm doing is I'm the variable that I wanna update is the list, the list models. But what I can do is I can specify a value by surrounding within percent signs and then having square bracket, a single quote, the name of the model, a closing single quote, and then a comma. So this essentially will do the same thing as what I did before, but it does it into a single action. So now I can delete these, add to item to list actions and replace it with this. And when I run it, it'll do the exactly the same thing. It'll add those five models to my list. And if I open up my variable, list models, you can see, does the same thing. So that's just a handy tip in case you needed to, um, instead of having to have multiple actions do the same thing, you can just specify one variable. Okay, so let's start to um, explore some of the other things you can do with lists. So another action you can do with list is to clear the list. And as it implies, drag clear list over into the canvas, you can specify the list to clear. To clear. We can say list models, click, click select, and now what will happen is when I run this, it'll create the list, add the models to it, but then it'll immediately just delete the list or delete the, the items that are within the list. And you can see that it's done it there. Okay, so there's another action that you can use called remove item from list. And what it'll do is it'll remove a specific item from the list. So I'm gonna click the, drag that over into my canvas, delete. Okay, and then what I'm gonna do here is it's gonna specify how do you want to specify the item that you want to remove? You can remove it by the index or you can remove it by value. So let's say we want to move, remove it by index. We want to say we want to remove index and it's indexed at the, the, the uh, index number two. Specify the list. List models and then save. I'm going to delete this action. So index number two, if I go into the set variable ahead of it. The first index is always index zero. The second one is one, two, three, four. So what this should do is it should remove the 
rogue model from the list. Let's run it and see. And then when I open up the variable, you can see that it removed rogue, okay? The other way you can do that is you can, instead of specifying an index, you can specify by name. So if I remove the index and specify by value, I can say, I want to remove rogue. Save. And this will do exactly the same thing, is it will remove, it looks for the model called rogue, and it removes it from the list. Another action you can use with lists is called sort list. So I'm going to delete this action and sort list. As the name of the action implies, it'll sort it for you in ascending order. So list to sort, I can specify the list that I want to deal with here. Click select, hit save. Now what happens is that when I run the flow, adds the items, adds the models to the list, and then it'll sort it by ascending order. And as you can see, it is now in alphabetical order based upon uh, the name of the model. Another action you can, you can select is the shuffle list. I'm going to go back to shuffle and I'm going to say specify the list I want to shuffle. Click select, hit save. I'm going to leave this action so it sorts it and then the next one it's going to shuffle it again. I hit the run, open it up after it's completed. And now when I open up list models, you can see that it was originally sorted in an alphabetical order. And now it's in a random order. So the next action you can select is called reverse list. I'm going to click and drag that over onto my canvas. What I'm going to do is specify the list that I'm working with. And then what this action will do is when the list is originally created, it puts them in this order where it has Tacoma, Explorer, Rogue, Malibu, and Accord. What this action will do is it'll actually rearrange the item order. And what it'll do is it'll put Accord first, Malibu second, Rogue third, Explorer fourth, and then Tacoma fifth. I'm going to take this out, run it. And then after it's completed, I'll open up the variable. You can see that if I open up, you can now see that it is in the reverse order to where it was actually added. Now in this next example, I'm going to demonstrate how you can actually set a variable based upon an item that's in a list. I'm going to use our list that we've already created here. Let's say that I want to pull out the word rogue out of the list and set it to a variable. How do I do that? Delete this action. I go set the variable. And I'm going to say the variable name is called model. And to specify it, I specify my list. And I put it in square brackets. All right, square brackets. I want the, the rogue as the second element. Put two, close bracket, click save. And now when I run, what it's going to do is it's going to build up my list and it's going to pull out the second element. Sorry, the second index in the list. And you can see model is rogue, which is the index value of number two. I can also do the reverse. Let's say I wanted to update that element and I, I wanted to call it something else other than rogue. I can go in, set the variable, and then I'm just going to copy paste this up here. And let's say that I want to call it um, uh, Prius. Okay. So now when I run it, it's going to replace rogue with Prius in the list. Open it up, and you can see that it specified Prius. Okay, so for the next few actions, what I'm going to need, I'm going to need to have two lists uh, to work with it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a second list, and uh, I'll start, start demonstrating those. So one second. Okay, so what I've done now is I've actually created two lists. I renamed the original one to List Models 1, and I've created a new list called List Models 2. Each of them have a... I'm going to specify five separate models. So each list will have five elements in, in them. What I want to do is I want to uh, kind of combine both lists into a third list. And what you can do is use a merge lists action. 
I click and drag that over here. I can specify my first list, which is models one. Specify my second one, which is models two. And what it's going to do is it's going to combine them and put it into a third list called output list. Hit save, hit run. And now this new list that I create called output list will have 10 elements in it. And it's a combination of both the first and the second one. Open it up. And you can see now it's going to combine into a single new list. So what if we wanted to remove duplicates from a list? Well, there's an action for that. Now, if you'll notice that in the new output list that I created, there is a duplicate in here. You can see that in the, the fourth element, I have a chord that was from the first list. And in the ninth element, I also have an accord, but I don't want this. I wanna have it so that it's gonna look at my list and then remove any duplicates in the list for me. I can do that automatically by clicking and dragging over, remove duplicate items from list. Put that in there. I specify the list that I want to scan, which is the output list. Hit save. And what it's going to do is it's going to remove any duplicates that it finds within that list. Let's run it. Creates the two lists, merges the list together, and then it should remove the duplicate item, which was the accord. It removed it from the last so sort of the opposite action to removing duplicate items from a list that you can uh, execute. But let's say I wanted to take a look at a list and find all of the items that are duplicated and then just list those for me. Well, the action that you can, you can search for is uh, find common items, sorry, find common list items. I'm gonna click and drag that into here. And what I wanna do is I wanna say, okay, I have my two lists find the items that are common between both of those lists. So I can specify my first one and then also my second one. And what it'll do is if it finds any duplicates, it's gonna put it into a third list called intersection list. Click save, I'm gonna remove this action. And now when I run, creates the lists, merges them into a larger list. And then what it's gonna do is it's gonna find a chord and it found it into the intersection list and says, hey, between those two lists that you specified, there is one item that is in that is duplicated. And that's the that is the model called accord. Now the last action that I'm going to demonstrate is called something is something called subtract lists. What subtract lists will do is it'll look at the first list and it'll return all of the items that are in that first list, but it won't return any items that appear in the second list. So what does that mean? When it compares these lists, it's gonna return all these items, but if there's any items in here that do appear in the second list, it'll not include it into the new list that it creates. So what that means is that the, the, the common one model that's common between two lists is a chord. So when I run this action, what it should return is Tacoma Explorer, Rogue, and Malibu because these items are not in the second list, but the chord is in the second list, so it's not going to return that. So let's try it out. Click and drag subtract lists over here. I can specify my first list as being list number one. The second list is being list number two. And it's going to call it list difference. I'll click save. I'm going to remove that. And now when I run, it'll create a new list called list difference, and it'll have four items in it. And the four items that it'll have are all of the items that are in the first list, except for chord, because that does appear in the second list. And that's how you can actually list the differences.